Myeloperoxidase is a peroxidase enzyme that in humans is encoded by the MPO gene on chromosome 17. MPO is most abundantly expressed in neutrophil granulocytes, and produces hypohalous acids to carry out their antimicrobial activity. It is a lysosomal protein stored in azurophilic granules of the neutrophil and released into the extracellular space during degranulation. MPO has a heme pigment, which causes its green color in secretions rich in neutrophils, such as pus and some forms of mucus. Structure The 150K DAL MPO protein is a cationic homodimer consisting of two 15K DAL light chains and two variable weight glucosylated heavy chains bound to a prosthetic heme group. The light chains are glucosylated and contain the modified iron protoporphyrin 9 active site. Together, the light and heavy chains form two identical 73K DAR monomers connected by a cysteine bridge at CIS-153. The protein forms a deep crevice which holds the heme group at the bottom, as well as a hydrophobic pocket at the entrance to the distal heme cavity which carries out its catalytic activity. Three isoforms have been identified, differing only in the size of the heavy chains. MPO contains a calcium binding site with seven ligands, forming a pentagonal pyramid conformation. One of the ligands is the carbonyl group of ASP96. Calcium binding is important for structure of the active site because of ASP96's close proximity to the catalytic HIS95 side chain. Function MPO is a member of the XPO subfamily of peroxidases and produces hypochlorous acid from hydrogen peroxide and chloride anion during the neutrophil's respiratory burst. It requires heme as a cofactor. Furthermore, it oxidizes tyrosine to tyrosyl radical using hydrogen peroxide as an oxidizing agent. Hypochlorous acid and tyrosyl radical are cytotoxic, so they are used by the neutrophil to kill bacteria and other pathogens. However, this hypochlorous acid may also cause oxidative damage in host tissue. Moreover, MPO oxidation of APOAI reduces HDL-mediated inhibition of apoptosis and inflammation. In addition, MPO mediates protein nitrosylation and the formation of 3-chlorotyrosine and dityrosine crosslinks. Clinical significance, myeloperoxidase deficiency is a hereditary deficiency of the enzyme, which predisposes to immune deficiency. Antibodies against MPO have been implicated in various types of vasculitis, most prominently three clinically and pathologically recognized forms, granulomatosis with polyangitis, microscopic polyangitis, and eosinophilic granulomatosis with polyangitis. Antibodies are also known as antineutrophil cytoplasmic antibodies, though ANCAs have also been detected in staining of the perinuclear region. Recent studies have reported an association between elevated myeloperoxidase levels and the severity of coronary artery disease. And Heslop AL reported that elevated MPO levels more than double the risk for cardiovascular mortality over a 13-year period. It has also been suggested that myeloperoxidase plays a significant role in the development of the atherosclerotic lesion and rendering plaques unstable. Equals medical uses equals an initial 2003 study suggested that MPO could serve as a sensitive predictor for myocardial infarction in patients presenting with chest pain. Since then, there have been over 100 published studies documenting the utility of MPO testing. The 2010 Heslop AL study reported that measuring both MPO and CRP provided added benefit for risk prediction than just measuring CRP alone. Immunous to chemical staining for myeloperoxidase used to be administered in the diagnosis of acute myeloid leukemia to demonstrate that the leukemic cells were derived from the myeloid lineage. Myeloperoxidase staining is still important in the diagnosis of myeloid sarcoma, contrasting with the negative staining of lymphomas, which can otherwise have a similar appearance. In the case of screening patients for vasculitis, Flow cytometric assays have demonstrated comparable sensitivity to immunofluorescence tests, with the additional benefit of simultaneous detection of multiple autoantibodies relevant to vasculitis. Nonetheless, this method still requires further testing. Myeloperoxidase is the first and so far only human enzyme known to break down carbon nanotubes, 
allaying a concern among clinicians that using nanotubes for targeted delivery of medicines would lead to an unhealthy buildup of nanotubes in tissues. Equals inhibitors of MPO equals, as it has been used traditionally as an MPO inhibitor, but for amino benzoic acid hydroside is a more specific inhibitor of MPO. See also, Cleruma. References.